the world of social media is everywhere. It's all around us. And as a result, we're bombarded with millions of messages each day. So are investors. So are the people who are going to be judging you in the investor pitch competition. How do you cut through the noise? How can you create a message that's compelling and that's concise? We have to leverage the world of Twitter to make our message short and boil it down to a concentrated story that makes our listeners say, tell me more. Another secret of the best elevator pitch. The best elevator pitch isn't judged by the sound of your vowels or your gestures. No, you wanna know how the best elevator pitch is judged? It's judged by what your listener does when you're done. So if you wanna know the secret to a great elevator pitch, start with the outcome that you would like to create. See if you can create a message that generates a conversation. How do you know if you're generating a conversation? Because your listener says, tell me more. In some form or fashion, tell me more. Tell me more about your idea. Because it's a simple fact. You can't tell your life story in a two minute elevator pitch. You cannot get the story from birth up till yesterday in two minutes or less. So don't even try. Try to create a compelling conversation that, that leads to the dialogue you want to have. Think about what investors really want, because I'll tell you something else, another secret to the best elevator pitch. The best elevator pitch starts with what your listener is thinking. What your listener is thinking. You know, we have more ways than ever to connect, but the challenge of our time is to create that real connection, to find common ground with the investors on the other side of the table, because when you find common ground, then you can create uncommon results. So, how do we make the connections that matter? Well, we have to start with what investors are thinking. So what are investors thinking? When they hear your pitch, what are they looking for? Are they looking for the money? How much money? What's the payout? Are they looking for who? Who have you got on your team? You know, it's a famous saying, right? You've, you've probably used it, Jim, or certainly heard it. Bet on the jockey, not the horse. In other words, you want to know who the players are because good players can make a bad idea work. It's no secret. I'm not here to talk about bad ideas, but just in case there are any in the room, just want to make you understand that. What are they looking for? A pro forma that makes sense? Are they looking for a stellar elevator pitch? Or are they looking for something more? The best elevator pitch starts with what your listener is thinking. And if you're in front of investors that have high net worth, in other words, if they've got more than $5 million in working capital, the fact that your business plan shows a million dollar payout in year three, isn't really going to impact that individual's lifestyle. It's not gonna change the car that he's driving. It's not gonna make him put a new fence in his backyard. So what if it's not about the money? You ever think about that? I mean, we spend a lot of time on the spreadsheets and the pro formas and that sort of thing. Let's talk about the investor's mindset. And in fact, let me go so far as to say, let me help you today to learn how to read minds because the best elevator pitch starts with what your listener is thinking. <laughs>